you know, you've obviously been in Metro Phoenix for quite some time. You know, what do you like about, you know, Metro Phoenix, obviously Scottsdale? Um, what do you like the most? Yeah, so, you know, being a transplant, you know, from uh, from Ohio, yeah. there's a lot of great advantages. Yeah. I think everybody always points, you know, to weather, which is a great, yeah. right. a great yeah. kind of lead in. And we're, and we're leading into spring training here, yeah. so we're starting to see everybody kind of flock in, flock in. Yeah. some will stick, some will go back. But yeah. Exactly. It's, it's nice to be part of a, you know, a smaller community in the sense of, you know, the size of Scottsdale, but also feel like you're part of a larger kind of regional economy. Um, right. So it's nice yeah. to have a little bit more of that activity, you know, during different parts of the time. Uh, you know, one of the things, you know, that um, I find is great here is just the fact that there's people from all over yep. the world mm -hmm. that come into Greater Phoenix and specifically mm -hmm. in Scottsdale. So uh, you don't meet a ton of people that necessarily are born and raised here. And the ones that, right. you, yeah. that you do meet that are here, you know, it's a great story to hear about how it's just transitioned right. over, yeah, right. you know, the last couple of years to even right. the last couple of decades. I'm a native, yeah, and okay. I remember so when I was here was there was just hot street lights hanging from the wires and even Gilbert and, and South Chandler, so a lot has changed. Um, and you've seen a lot of different focus from different cities moving into, um, again, more centralized, like Scottsdale, Midtown Phoenix, um, downtown, I know it's got a big push one right now, but it's been interesting to see the city grow and obviously the population's growing. And, and then, you know, you used to be able to get from Scottsdale down to Tempe in like 10, 15 minutes, and now two two o'clock traffic starts. So right. that's a sign of the times, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, you know, I think Scottsdale is uh, really well uh, kind of situated or positioned yeah. because mm -hmm. kind of no matter where you're at, you're uh, in close proximity to right. kind of the nearest highway or thoroughfare in order to take right. you throughout yeah. the valley. Yeah. Um, and that's one of the advantages, I think, or the value propositions when companies are evaluating here is just, yeah. you know, the time and proximity you are to and from, you know, various locations, whether... Right. The businesses in Scottsdale and those that are working there live in other parts, or if they're living, you know, close to where they're uh, they're working, um, that's something that's really important as right. kind of that work-life balance. Right, right. Relatively easy commutes, um, more affordable homes, less lesser taxes on real estate. I mean, there's a there's a plethora of, of reasons why companies and people should come to, to Arizona. Yeah. On Phoenix, we talked.